But uh, so, Dr. Zamuli, your thoughts. Let me read out a few more points from the deal that I thought uh, specifically, like particularly stood out. The Israelis are expected to implement their side of the obligation only if the Palestinian Authority or any other body acceptable to the Israelis have full control of Gaza. And they've before that also mentioned that Gaza is at the moment held hostage by Hamas and the Palestinian uh, is Islamic Jihad. Yes, that's right. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's completely one-sided in that it's always the Palestinians who have to jump through hoops, always the Palestinians who have to um, uh, show themselves to be worthy negotiating partners. Israel never has to prove uh, anything. And so, for instance, um, the, there is a four-year settlement freeze. Now, we, we've, we've seen these settlement freezes uh, in the past, uh, and Israel has uh, not uh, stuck by these settlement freezes. But at any moment, Israel can say, well, the Palestinians are violating uh, their obligations, so we're going to end the settlement freeze. And so even before the four years are up, uh, Israel could at any time um, relaunch these uh, new settlements. And of course, after the four years, uh, well, the freeze is over, and again, we can have the more, more settlements. Mm -hmm. So the inexorable annexations of what even this land that uh, Trump has so generously uh, bestowed on the, uh, the Palestinians, even that land uh, will gradually be um, gobbled up um, by Israel up during this period and after the four years. So, yes, I mean, it's, uh, it's completely one-sided. Uh, Mr. Levy is right in that... Um, Yes, there, there, there is public opinion, and there is public opinion in Europe in particular that, that will object to an apartheid state, and public opinion even in the United States that uh, ob objects to that. Um, unfortunately, you know, you know, Europe has enough problems of its own in its dealings with the United States, and the Middle East may not be number one on its agenda. I mean, it's, uh, you know, there are other things that are more urgent that, uh, that the Europeans may want to address if they confront right. the United States. So okay. that's another. <laughs> okay.